Hi everyone, Rob here from the Mishimoto Engineering Facility. If you haven't already, subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook for more exclusive content. Today, we're going to install our intercooler and intercooler piping on your 2014 Plus Ford Fiesta ST. This installation is a bit involved, but stick with me and you'll get it done with ease. Let's get started. Tools needed for installation are T20 Torque socket, 7, 8, and 10 millimeter sockets, 8 millimeter swivel socket, 12 inch quarter inch drive extension, quarter inch drive ratchet, 13 millimeter deep socket, 3 8 drive ratchet, panel tool, flathead screwdriver, channel locks or linesman pliers, and a hose clamp tool. Installation time is about two hours. Installation difficulty is a three out of five. Remove the headlights. Each is held in by two bolts and one Phillips head pop clip. Disconnect the electrical harness from the headlight assembly. Slide the headlights back towards the cabin of the car, then lift it upwards to unseat it from the clip that secures the bottom of the headlight housing. Remove the two Phillips head pop clips from the top of the bumper cover. Remove the fasteners that secure the fender liner to the front bumper cover. There are two T20 Torx, one 7mm bolt, and one pop clip on each side. Remove the five 7mm bolts that secure the splash shield to the front bumper cover. Disconnect the electrical harness from the fog lights on both sides of the vehicle. Remove the six 8mm bolts that secure the fender to the front bumper cover. To make it easier to access these bolts, we suggest using a long extension with a swivel or swivel socket. Slide the bumper cover forward and remove it from the vehicle. Remove the vacuum line that attaches to the port above the throttle body. Squeeze the knurled tabs to disengage the line, then pull it off the port and tuck it behind the engine cover. Loosen the clamp that secures the cold side pipe to the throttle body. You can use a stubby flathead screwdriver or a 7mm socket. Use a hose clamp tool to compress the constant tension clamp on the sound generator until it locks into the open position. From underneath the vehicle, loosen the nut that secures the cold side pipe to the engine. Loosen the clamp that secures the cold side pipe to the intercooler. Then pull the cold side pipe off the intercooler. Disconnect the plastic hose that connects to the cold side pipe. To release the clip, gently pull back on the fingers of the green clip, then pry the clip away. Disconnect the electrical harness from the sensor on the cold side pipe. Depress the tab on the connector, then pull it off the sensor. Remove the cold side pipe from the vehicle completely. Remove the map sensor from the cold side pipe and install it on the Mishimoto cold side pipe using the supplied 10 mm bolt. If you decide to keep the stock sound generator, transfer the sound generator hose to the Mishimoto cold side pipe. Use pliers or a hose clamp tool to compress the constant tension clamp, then pull the hose off the stock pipe and install it on the Mishimoto pipe. If you are deleting the sound generator, install the supplied CNC plug and coupler to block the port on the Mishimoto cold side pipe. Install the plug into the coupler and secure it with a worm gear clamp. Then install the coupler on the cold side pipe and secure it with a worm gear clamp. Locate the transition coupler. Slip a T-bolt clamp over the smaller end of the coupler and install it onto the throttle body. Then tighten the clamp. Be sure to position the T-bolt clamp so the adjustment nut will face towards the front of the vehicle when installed. Slip a T-bolt clamp over the cold side pipe on the throttle body side and make sure the adjustment nut will face towards the front of the vehicle. Then install the cold side pipe onto the throttle body coupler. Do not tighten the clamp yet. Connect the map sensor wiring harness and install the plastic hose onto the port on the cold side pipe. Ensure that the green locking tab is engaged. Locate the intercooler coupler in your kit. The wider end installs onto the intercooler. Slip two T-bolt clamps over the coupler and install the coupler onto the intercooler. 
Then slide the cold side pipe into the coupler and tighten down the clamps. From underneath the vehicle, remove the two 13 millimeter nuts that secure the hot side pipe to the oil pan. Loosen the clamp that secures the hot side pipe to the intercooler coupler. This will make it easier to remove the pipe later. Loosen the clamp that secures the hot side pipe to the turbocharger outlet. Then remove the pipe from the vehicle completely. Loosen the clamp that secures the coupler to the intercooler on the passenger side. Then remove the coupler from the intercooler. Locate the turbocharger coupler and install it onto the hot side pipe. Secure the coupler to the pipe with a T-bolt clamp. Slip a T-bolt clamp over the coupler and install the hot side pipe onto the turbocharger outlet. Be sure to position the clamp so you can access the adjustment nut when it's in the vehicle. Locate the intercooler coupler in your kit. Slip two T-bolt clamps over the coupler and install the coupler onto the intercooler. Then slide the hot side pipe into the coupler. Slip the isolator bushing over the oil pan stud that lines up with the hot side pipe bracket. Then slide the bracket over the stud and secure it with the original hardware. Now go back and tighten all the clamps on the hot side pipe. Reconnect the vacuum line to the intake manifold. Push the connector into the port until it clicks. Then give it a gentle tug to make sure it's locked on. Remove the five 8mm bolts that secure the air diverter to the vehicle. Then remove the air diverter. There are two bolts along the top and three along the bottom. Loosen the clamps that secure the couplers to the intercooler. Remove the two 8mm bolts that secure the intercooler to the vehicle. Remove the intercooler from the vehicle. The top of the intercooler is held in by two grommets. Pull the intercooler down, then slide it out of the couplers. Transfer the grommets to the Mishimoto intercooler. Locate the upper air diversion panel in your kit. Install the panel to the top of the intercooler using the supplied 10 mm bolts. Locate the lower air diversion panel in your kit. Install the panel on the bottom of the intercooler using the supplied hardware. Install the Mishimoto intercooler. Slip the intercooler into the couplers, then push the intercooler up so the upper pegs engage with the mounting holes. Install the two 8mm bolts that secure the intercooler. Tighten the clamps that secure the couplers to the intercooler. Install the plastic air diverter and secure it with the five 8mm bolts. Install the front bumper cover. Be sure to align the tabs on the front bumper with the slots on the splash shield as you slide the bumper on. Make sure the arms on the splash shield are tucked above the lip of the front bumper cover. Set the fender liner back in place. Line up the mounting pegs on the bumper cover and secure the bumper to the fenders with the six 8mm bolts. Connect the wiring harness to the fog lights on both sides of the vehicle. You will hear a click when the connections are locked. Install the five 7mm bolts that secure the splash shield to the front bumper cover. Secure the fender liner to the front bumper cover with the original hardware. Install the headlights. Make sure the white clip on the frame rail is aligned with the dowel on the bottom of the headlight. Connect the electrical harness. Slip the front of the headlight under the front bumper cover, then align the rear part of the headlight and drop it into the fender. Secure the headlight with the two bolts and the Phillips head pop clip. Install the pop clips on the top of the front bumper cover. Now that you have the induction system installed on your Fiesta, take a moment to double check your work. Make sure that all the clamps are fully tightened and properly installed. Then fire up your Fiesta for a test drive. Don't forget to click subscribe before you head out.